Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to my kitchen if you're regular. Today I have a delicious recipe for you, so let's get started. Hola mis cariños, bienvenido a mi cocina. Hoy le traigo una receta muy rica, muy rapidita. Vamos a empezar. Today I'm going to be making a delicious fish recipe with Cuban mojo sauce. Esta noche voy a hacer un rico pescado con un salsa de mojo. For the ingredients, I'm using four pieces of mahi-mahi, but you can use any thick cut fish. Um, I like mahi-mahi because it doesn't break apart so easy. Um, I'm also using um, some fruits to make a mojo sauce. I'm using um, lime, orange, and um, grapefruit. I'm using half of a grapefruit. I'm using some onion, uh, garlic, um, some parsley, olive oil, oregano, cumin, sazón completa, homemade, and salt and pepper. Aquí tengo un pescado grueso, uh, se llama mahi mahi, pero puede usar cualquier uh, pescado grueso. So now I'm going to start making my mojo sauce. And I'm just going to juice the um, fruits and then I'm going to add the dry ingredients to my um, juice. So now I'm going to add my fish to a Ziploc bag um, and put the marinade right um, over top of the fish. But you can use a bowl if you like. Estoy usando un, um, una bolsa de plástico para uh, marinar el pescado, pero uh, puede usar un bowl si quiere. Now, um, this is a really quick process, but if you don't have time to uh, make this um, from scratch, you can buy the store-bought brand. Este proceso es muy rápido, pero uh, si no tiene tiempo para hacerlo, uh, puede comprar um, una botella de mojo. So now I'm going to um, put the fish into the refrigerator for about one hour, and then um, that's enough time for marinating, and then we're going to move on to cooking the fish. Marina el pescado no más que una hora. Okay, so it's been one hour, and we're going to remove our fish from the marinade. And we're going to pat dry um, the fish with a paper towel. Con una toalla de papel, quita el uh, exceso uh, marinado del pescado. Now I'm adding some olive oil to the pan, and I'm going to pan sear our mahi-mahi. Uh, no more than um, a minute per side. Tenemos que dorar el pescado uh, no más que un minuto. So now we're going to flip it and brown the other side. Okay, da vuelta con una espátula uh, y dorar el otro lado. This is a really quick um, uh, fish to make. Um, and it, um, the reason why I like mahi-mahi because it's really thick. And unlike other fish that are much thinner and they break apart, mahi-mahi seems to hold up really good when you're frying it. Me gustaría hacer mahi-mahi porque es un pez grueso y no se rompe fácilmente. So I'm going to finish frying these other two pieces and then I'm going to add all the fish back the other fish back into the pan. Continua cocinando uh, a fuego medio y um, da vuelta um, a una vez para dorar al otro lado. So now we're gonna add in our leftover mojo and we're gonna add it directly over top of the fish and we're gonna let this cook for one minute and no more than that and take it out. Me gustaría cocinar con mojo porque le da un sabor cubano. Now, mojo is, um, I love cooking with mojo because that's Cuban, of course, and it makes anything taste good. I mean, it makes beef taste good, chicken taste good, pork taste good, and, of course, fish. So, I hope you guys try this recipe and let me know what you think. Well, it's time for me to go, but thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more upcoming videos, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. Follow me on my Facebook group called Alita's Cuban Kitchen, also on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bueno mis cariños, es hora para oírme. Gracias por verme. Si te gusta este video, dale un like y sígueme en Facebook. En uh, mi grupo de Facebook uh, se llama Alelita's Cuban Kitchen uh, y también um, en Instagram, TikTok y Pinterest. Um, gracias por verme. Muchas bendiciones. Hasta la próxima. Bye bye.